According to the American Stroke Association, one person dies every four minutes as a result of a stroke. Which is why this vehicle from UT Health, the nation's first mobile stroke unit, offers so much promise. If you have a stroke, you have to be taken to an emergency department and go through about an hour's worth of evaluation before you can get treated. What this stroke unit does is we'll take the emergency room out to the patient and basically treat them in their driveway. For every minute that the, the brain is lacking oxygen from a clot, it's two million neurons that are, die. We could say, if we could save 120 million neurons, it, it would hopefully decrease disability and um, increase greater outcomes. The unit will respond to calls within a three mile radius of the medical center. So what happens once a patient is on board? So we'll be doing a CAT scan and then if we identify that it's an ischemic stroke, we'll be able to start the blood, or the clot busting medication here in the ambulance. The drug is called TPA and we give it just in the vein and it, it travels to the clot and eats up the clot and it dissolves the clot and the artery then pops open and blood gets restored to the brain and the patient gets better. And when it comes to finances, the mobile stroke unit is actually a study. What we're going to do is see whether how much better patients get as a result of this and what the costs are. This CT scanner in here costs about $400,000. But if someone has a stroke, the average cost of a stroke to our healthcare system is about $200,000. So if we just cure two additional patients with this unit, we've paid for the CT scanner. The mobile stroke unit is in the training process right now, but is expected to go into active duty next month. For Houston Public Media News, I'm Edel Howland.